Picking the right fitness tracker is like choosing a workout friend who keeps you going, tracks your progress, and cheers you on with different approaches. The Fitbit Charge 6 and Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 are both aiming to be that supportive buddy. The Fitbit Charge 6 focuses on overall wellness, while the Galaxy Fit 3 is all about being affordable. Let's explore what makes these two competitors different in today's video. When it comes to a fitness tracker, how it looks and feels can really affect how much users like it. Both the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 and Fitbit Charge 6 have stylish designs with cool features. The Galaxy Fit 3 looks sleek and fancy with its smooth glass display and tough aluminum body, giving it a high-quality feel while also being strong. On the other hand, the Fitbit Charge 6 is all about being light, using materials like aerospace-grade aluminum and tough Gorilla Glass 3. This not only makes it lighter, but also fits with the trend of using eco-friendly stuff. In terms of size, the Galaxy Fit 3 is a bit bigger, making it stand out on your wrist. This might be great for folks who like a bold, smartwatch-like look. On the flip side, the Charge 6 is more compact and simple, perfect for people who want a low-key but useful device. Both trackers keep it simple with just one button for getting around, making them easy to use all day long. The Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 has a 1.6-inch AMOLED display that's bright and clear, making it easy to see and use, no matter where you are. It's also waterproof, so you can use it for water activities without worry. Both the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 and Fitbit Charge 6 offer lots of options to suit your style. The Galaxy Fit 3 comes in colors like Prism Crush White and Dark Gray, while the Charge 6 offers colors like Obsidian and Coral, these choices let you pick the look that matches your taste. Both trackers have vibrant displays and are water-resistant up to 5 ATM, so you can use them during workouts or even in the water. They also let you customize them to fit your style, which is nice. As fitness trackers get more advanced, they're adding more health and wellness features. While the Galaxy Fit 3 doesn't focus on health as much as the Charge 6 does, it still has some great fitness tools. It can track your heart rate, analyze your sleep, measure your blood oxygen levels, count floors climbed, and recognize different activities. These features give you helpful insights into your daily life and health. On the other hand, the Fitbit Charge 6 takes a broader approach to wellness. It has extra sensors and features that go beyond basic fitness tracking. For example, it has an EDA sensor that measures stress levels by detecting changes in your skin. This is really useful for people who want to manage stress and focus on their mental well-being. Plus, the Charge 6 has a skin temperature sensor that gives you insights into changes in your body temperature. This info can help you understand trends in your health and wellness better. Fitbit's premium subscription gives the Charge 6 even more cool features, like the daily readiness score. This score helps you decide how intense your workouts should be or if you need to focus on recovery. It looks at things like how well you slept, how active you've been, and your heart rate variability. While the Galaxy Fit 3 doesn't have as many fancy wellness features as the Charge 6, it still has a solid set of tracking tools, which is good for folks who mainly want to keep an eye on their fitness progress. Fitness trackers are getting more like smartwatches these days. The Fitbit Charge 6 can do stuff like connect with Google services for contactless payments and navigation with Google Maps. It also handles notifications, controls music on Spotify, and lets Android users reply to messages quickly. The Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 doesn't have NFC for payments like the Charge 6 does, but it still handles notifications, music, and app alerts. However, its integration with Google services might not be as extensive as the Charge 6, so which one you prefer could depend on what you're already used to and invested in. Battery life is important for a smooth experience with wearables. The Galaxy Fit 3 can last up to 13 days on one charge and has fast charging. The Fitbit Charge 6 lasts about 7 days on a charge, but doesn't have fast charging. Price is a big factor when picking a fitness tracker. The Galaxy Fit 3 is priced around $70, which is pretty budget-friendly. On the other hand, the Fitbit Charge 6 usually costs around $160 because it has more advanced features. In the end, both the Galaxy Fit 3 and Fitbit Charge 6 give you a lot for your money, so they're both good choices. The Galaxy Fit 3 is perfect for people who want to save money and make sure they're safe while staying fit. It's got a big display and some safety features. 
On the flip side, the Charge 6 gives you a fancy experience, especially if you're serious about tracking your health. It has its own GPS and lots more smartwatch-like stuff to play with. What do you think about these two fitness trackers? Which one sounds like the best fit for you? Let us know in the comments.